so my question, and this is a question I'm asking not only myself. Hey, when I come in here and talk, uh, I, I probably am talking to myself more than you guys just get to listen to me talk to myself. And um, I just I, I know those conversations because of who I hang around and who my mentors are, uh, including all of you. I know it 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 values more than just me, but I like to have the conversation and I like to you know, be on, I mean, this is me. This is what I'm really going through. So my big question I had this year, and this is where my business mind has been the last couple months, is how are you doing on your goals, right? How are you going to finish this year and are you going to hit your goals? Now I want you to stop for a second because if you said yes or if I'm close or whatever, now I'm going to ask you which goals are you going to hit? Is it the goals that you changed up in the middle of the year when you weren't hitting the goals that you set back in January? That about this time in 2022, were you setting goals for 2022? You know, October, November of 2021. So close your eyes for a second and just go back to January 2022. What were those goals that were sitting in front of you that you had written out? What was that excitement that you had? What was that? Think about what were you going to pay off? What, who were you going to hire? You had a vision of what this time of year was going to look like. Is that the goal that you're on track for? Now I'm going to let you open your eyes and come back. Or are you on track for a goal that you adjusted in the middle of the year? And that's where I find a lot of people do that. And I've coached to this when I figured it out myself. It's like, wow, you know, I was hitting my goals all the time, but Man, I did want to pay off that credit card and this and that. So it makes me ask, if you're not on your January 2022 goals and you adjusted somewhere during the middle of the year, hey, that's fine. It's your life, right? You, you can finish that. You can finish whatever finish line you want. My question is, what did you give up? Because there was something, maybe it was a credit card that you wanted to have paid off. Maybe it was having your car paid off. So as long as you're going to adjust your goal and be happy, thrilled with the fact that you're not paying that off or you didn't get the person hired that you wanted or you didn't expand to one more location or 10 locations, as long as you're okay with that, hey, it's your life. You can, you can have that goal and that can be your finish line. But if you look back at that and go, man, I've got to be haunted with that thing one more year, one more year, then guess what? We still have eight weeks left. Probably six total because you're going to take off a week during Thanksgiving. Well, at least in the States. I don't know what it's like around the world. I'm not super well connected to all the different cultures and everything around the world. I'm very disconnected from that perspective. But like we've got eight working weeks left in the United States that I know of. So this is where I challenge and go, all right, go back to your January goal. Just do this exercise. Go back to your January goal. Look at where you are today. Figure the difference. What's the gap, right? What's the gap? And then divide it by six. But you can take that number. If you've divided your gap, say it's $100,000. Actually, probably easier to say $60,000. Just to throwing money out as a simple example. So I've got to make $10,000 a week. And then I break that down to what's that a day? So that's $60,000. That's $10,000 a day. Okay, what do I need to do in the day to make $10,000? Like selling a house, that could be one $400,000 house. I, I'm just kind of throwing examples out. But when you break it down, so when I sell 100 homes a year and I'm at 56 or I think we're at 59 now, we've got 40 houses to go in the next six weeks. So it's basically listing 10 houses a week might hit my, will probably hit my goal of 40 more closings. So I just need to know the number so that I can finish stronger than I would have had I not had that goal. So that's my share for this morning. Whew. Brad, pure gold. Um, I'm so excited. It's really true. We, we have eight weeks left. It's awesome. Uh, I just think of, I'm thinking of something I can't say. It's a saying that's politically incorrect these days, but that I grew up with. with. I'll just leave it at this and anyway, do it, do until it. it's over. <laughs> I can't, I can't do it. It's just. Right, back well, channel. Yeah, back channel. <laughs> back channel, buddy. Somebody.
was saying. Exactly. That is why it's it ain't no beautiful voice. Lady sings. It's okay. Exactly. We can it. it's exactly. Okay. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> and it, it, it isn't. So anyway, so thank you so much for um, for being beautifully you, Brad. I'm going to pass the mic straight over to Jen.